people have really wet themselves over the brake calipers, or we can paint brake calipers. Got news for you, that's been done back on Need for Speed Underground, back on the PlayStation 2. And it might have been on an even earlier game. So, really, we've got nothing new. I mean, we can have numbers on the cars. I mean, that's a big deal, apparently. I mean, do you want to hear something quite ridiculous? I was in an online lobby uh, not so long ago, and I basically just said that how can a game in 2014 have cars on it that hasn't got an interior? And in fact, it's probably what two thirds of the cars on this game out of the 1200, which is a lot. And I said it was pathetic because how can you be in 2014 and think it's acceptable? to put cars in a new game, essentially, or what they call in a new game, and not have an interior. I mean, sure I understand that these concept cars don't have an interior, but even put one in, say like the Aston Martin concept, for example, why didn't you put the 177 interior in or something similar? Just do anything. I mean, <coughs> it's 2014 for Christ's sake. We really, I don't know. But anyway, I got called pathetic for saying that in a lobby, for, call, for saying it's pathetic to have a car with no interior. The problems with GT fans, you can't really speak the truth to them because they all think, oh, well, why are you playing it? Why didn't you go on another game? Why didn't you fuck off to Xbox? Well, these are just simple people who are just fucking idiots, to be honest. I mean, think about it laterally, will you, for a minute? If I wanted an Xbox, I'd be on Xbox. I won't be on PlayStation right now. And you have to remember, people tend to have a go at stuff that they love. I mean, it's out of frustration that we mourn and rant about Gran Turismo. And you might think, why am I still doing it now for you guys? I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I mean, sure, I do have fun drifting, but I can have fun, yeah, fun on other games. So, I don't know, to be honest, I almost just want to give up with Gran Turismo, to be honest with you guys, because, like I said, I feel trapped. I feel like I can't speak my mind. I can't just be me. I mean, I still get shit for drifting four-wheel drive cars, which I covered in me four-wheel drive drift lesson. It's just, I'm tired of the prejudice. I'm tired about just a general bullshit. I mean. It's generally acknowledged right now on Gran Turismo that most of the decent, honest people, honest gamers and decent drivers have left GT. They left within the early months of the GT6 um, release. That kind of begs the question, why am I still on it? <laughs> Simple, because of my friends. If my friends, oh, we all decided to club together and went on a different game, I would leave in a heartbeat. I really would. But there are good points of the game, don't get me completely wrong, because people that don't know me might only hear one side of it and think, oh well, he's just bashing the game. I did used to love the game, I truly did. Well, GT5 I used to, and um, yeah, it's all gone downhill, kind of, after that since, really. I'll give you a proper reason as to why I've been a bit funny lately, is because, like, um... The motor vlogger Baron von Grumble. I didn't know this uh, until recently, until his latest video. Uh, well, not latest, it was called an honest video or an honest vlog. And I've for about two years now suffered with. suffered with depression and anxiety. Now, to most people out there who probably never felt any sort of depression or anxiety it's actually an illness some people think oh it's just people being pussies and it, that's the stigma that comes with depression and anxiety and unfortunately um, people that suffer with it have to suffer with the stigma and so you, you know that's hopefully it should go a long way to explaining what 
so much about me because you guys might notice that when I'm in a lobby, I can snap very easily. I can, I can't really take abuse like I used to. Like before, I had depression. I was, I was normal. You don't realise what normal's like till you're depressed. And um, yeah, and basically, it's why I started this whole YouTube channel. Not to get famous, not to get rich. Because the only enjoyment I truly get out of life, one is drifting, and two is making other people happy. Now if I can make you happy by just making a laugh, make you piss yourself, make you make you, make you better at something, then I'm happy with that. What was I doing? Is that true? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so, what does the future hold for Gran Turismo? Well, at least with my channel. It probably holds a couple more drift lessons and... And to be honest, it's probably going to be more vlogs to be, to be honest than anything else. Only because... The people online on GT don't... They don't make me want to actually do anything with them because... Most of them, if I'm being honest with you, are jackasses. I mean, that's an American word, I could be using something different, but, you know, it's just... They're such tosses, to be honest with you, they really are. I mean, I, you might hate me for saying this, but I'm just speaking the truth, this is the honesty. And... Yeah, there are nice people on the game, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're all absolute dicks, but... I mean, you go on other games and you don't get that much shit for just having the normal day and having fun. I mean, it really is tiring. The people with Gran Turismo as well, they... Unless you make a video that has within their interest or they're in, they're not really bothered about it, to be honest with you. They're really not. You might think, oh, you're wrong, Baron. Well, I'm sorry I'm not wrong. This is what I've seen and what I've lived with, with personally. Like, this is what I know. This isn't what I've heard off some forum or what someone said to me. This is what I've seen. And there's me putting my lap in of 20,700. That's around Sakuba and an online drift session. I only joined just to prove that I can drift and well, to prove to myself more than anybody else. Because my worst critic is myself most of the time, unfortunately. Let's go on to another driver. And, yeah, so expect more vlogs up in the future. Um, I will discuss more in depth what's going on with GT. I will try and avoid the subjects mentioned by GT Planet because, you know, practically everything's already been said on there by all the busybodies. I mean, even with what I'm doing with the Drift School on the channel, if you've noticed, Lesson 1 was a smash hit, and 2 and 3 have been slower to pick up, and whether that's because of the sound quality in Lesson 1, I don't know, but if so, I apologise for that. I did leave a comment up on the original lesson saying I would get the sound fixed. I mean, this is one thing that I do get quite a lot of. I get quite a bit of, uh, oh Baron, here's a tip for you to make your videos better, and but the tips are stuff like, oh, turn your game volume down. Well, guess what? I was already planning to do that on the next video anyway. It was... Some some of you have really got to understand. When you make a video for the first time, on a concept for the first time, that's completely different to anything else you've made. To get the settings right and to get everything else right, normally takes one or two videos to get it, you know, how you want it. I mean, look at my Worms video, which not many people have. The original first episode, the sound quality was absolutely annoying. It, it had echo from Sean it, and it was just not. But lesson two and three and every etc etc is fixed. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you didn't mind uh, Le Baron's little vlog. I don't do many vlogs as you can clearly tell. And yeah, hopefully you have an awesome day. Please stay tuned to the channel. I will keep more stuff coming in the near future please have a little bit of patience with me as usual lots of love labaron smoochy smoochy
the sound of perverted. Yeah. Cut that out. Cut that out. I'm not having money.